or not, depending on how the video plays out and how long it is when I finish these. So, for everybody else who heard that, that just sounded awkward, didn't it? Oh, this one! Okay, I'll actually shoot him and I'll have to let myself get killed by him because you guys should see what he does. He's actually really, really easy to beat once you know what to do. Uh, what I usually do is shoot him, immediately run over here, and then uh, pull the arrow back to me. And by the time the arrow hits, it gets him right in the eye. And it's really, really easy. And I'll show that to you in the future. First, I'm just going to... Oh. Oh. Oh, what? what? He didn't squash me, though. I ran into him. That's not fair. Oh. Uh, the game keeps track of your deaths, so that's unfortunate. Anyway, it's a really basic boss. He rolls and he shoots. That's that's literally what he does. That's... I mean, it, it's pretty self-explanatory. Anyway, let me try it the other way. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, I made a mistake. Hey, actually, this might work out for me. <laughs> I didn't know he did that. Yeah, it wasn't too hard. It was easier before. Like I said, I don't know why it didn't work. Usually I shoot him, run like over here. Maybe I had to let him get closer and then move over here. Anyway, you just pull the arrow to him and it happens. Yeah, and I think you get an achievement for getting him on a return arrow. I got that one before. I'm not really sure about the Steam achievements. And again, we'll look at that. And I could do a video at the end of this series just explaining these Steam achievements if people want to. I didn't check the sound levels. I really hope this is okay and you guys can hear me. I mean, I could always replay it if I need to. The sounds aren't too bad. Actually, let me... I'm going to quickly alt-tab out of here. Let me check the sound levels. It doesn't look like it's too bad. Like, my, my audio sounds okay. Hopefully, hopefully it's working then. Hopefully it's actually recording. I'm not playing a windowed mode, so I can't see it in the floor. And I don't have a second monitor, which I realize is a must for anybody who's recording. But... I'm a, I, I, I'm, I'm a new graduate. I don't, I don't have enough money to get a new monitor just yet, so, you know, working with what I have right now. Oh, I don't like this one. Um, oh, geez, what's the best way to do this? All right, so you shoot him. He starts sliding around. And he kills you. Anyway, I thought that I was supposed to get him into the fire there in the middle, but that's apparently not how it works. Um, apparently, you have to get your arrow to go through the flames and melt him. And then activate, I think, the second form or something like that. Anyway, it's not... Crud! Oh, I was just a little too slow. Oh, I didn't know he did that. I don't think I ever, like, my sh fights with him were always relatively short. There we go. Well, I don't remember the brain bouncing, but it wasn't that hard. I probably should have waited around to see what he did, but whatever, I guess. Anyway, guy, if, oh, come on. Like, if you're if you're watching this, tell me this game isn't cool. This, this game looks really cool. Um, someone commented that it was just like kind of boring boss rush, and admittedly, I guess that's kind of true. But I don't think it's boring. I think it's awesome. This is this is amazing. I love this, and I realize I'm geeking out, and it's probably not that amazing to anybody else watching. But I, I I'm getting really excited about this. I think it was made in the Ludum Dare Challenge too. At least the idea was, and then they touched it up for Steam. I think it normally goes for like 15 bucks. I got it on a huge sale for like three bucks because Steam is awesome. Um, I I don't know necessarily what it's worth. I really like it. Now I, I beat the game. I almost beat the game. I'm I'm I think I'm close to the end on my other one, but it, it only took me like two or three hours to get near the end. So I mean I don't know how much that's worth, but like I, I really 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 like this game. Um. I have some complaints about it, mostly, like, when you're killing the bosses and getting their souls or the souls of whoever came before you or whatever it is you're getting. Like, I don't, real I don't really know what it is you're trying to do here. But it doesn't, like, it would be nice if you got rewarded for it, like, got some new item or weapon or power-up or something. And I realize that's not the point of the game, so you can't judge it too harshly on that. 
but it would be nice to feel like you were being rewarded for your accomplishments other than just, you know, completing an objective. But that's just me. Another thing would be more exploration, and I'll talk about that later as that becomes more relevant, but... For now, the only thing I could say is it would be nice if I felt like I was gaining something by killing the bosses. Like, getting something from them. Whether it's a trait from them, or an item from them, or... Even just a consumable. Oh! Oh, this one! I don't... I don't remember this one. I didn't play it that long ago. I was tired, I was studying for the incline. Oh, I know what to do, okay. <laughs> Should I reload? Do you guys want to see more of that? Basically, he just smashes the ground. You wait for him to expose himself and shoot him. It's really not hard. It's actually quite easy. But if you notice, like it's not like it's not like Zelda or lots of other games where everybody has their own cavern and you have to work your way to the boss. This guy's just out in the open. He's literally just sitting here. You just come up and shoot him. And again, I think part of that adds to the charm. I love that. I love that. I, I love this game so much. So many little subtle things make this a great game. And by the way, this is not sponsored or anything, and I'm a tiny channel, so I, it won't get the attention of the developers. I'm not trying to suck up. I'm, I'm just legitimately telling you guys how excited I am about this game. So I realize if you're new to your channel, you'll be like, well, someone's sucking up here, or maybe he was paid. I'm not sponsored. I'm, I'm not a big channel. I don't pretend to be. I don't expect to be. This is just for my own enjoyment, and in my own experience, my own opinion, this is a really good game. And, uh, I'm really excited about it. Anyway, I just killed uh, the four bosses in this area, so if I didn't cut it before, I'm cutting it now. I don't know how long the recording's been, so it's something I'll have to mess with later, but um, I'll ad I will address that later. Anyway, for now, as far as the, the first part of this recording goes, that's done. So, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, a like or subscribe would be amazing, but I'm going to stop. You all have a great day, and I, Mr. Blubberbutter, see you later. Bye.